So we had an idea. What if you wanted to make 8x10 Polaroids, but you didn't have an 8x10 processor or holder? So this isn't DIY on how to do 8x10 without it. Here we are cutting some sheet from a roll. This is actually from 22-inch rolls from the Polaroid 20x24 studio. And we are now cutting it down to fit into a regular 8x10 holder. This is Nafis Assad cutting down our 22-inch pods to 8 inches to insert into a little packet. Well, not the positive. And like oh, the Polaroid the holder, yeah. we're attaching the pod to the positive with a piece of tape. And we're doing all this in the light to show you what's going to happen Direct when we actually go into the dark. So this is the negative on a similar roll being Either cut way. first to 10 inches. Line it up there. Let's cut a couple of them. And now we're actually trimming a little bit off because this was originally cut to go into a regular Polaroid 8x10 holder, which uses a little bit wider piece of film than a cut film holder. So we're taking a little bit off here. Okay, once again, this is what is going to be assembled in the dark. So the negative is being taped over the positive, facing the positive. And now this is a set of rollers that are actually designed to bend sheet metal. And this is a test to see if we're going to get coverage as we wind the spread through the rollers. It's going to be a white anyways. I can feel it, right? So there won't be an image on this. It's light struck, but we will be able to see if the developer is spreading properly between the two. There you go. Our first peel through the... And as you see, we are getting pretty good coverage. So now oh we're going to go into the dark chamber and load this up in there. This is a special chamber designed by Bob Crowley at New 55 to be able to be in a light environment, but able to assemble things that you would in a dark room. So it takes a little getting used to, to be looking off in one direction at live coverage of it. And now that we've assembled it into the regular cut film holder, right. we're going to make an exposure of this still life, F16 at a 30th of a second. Now Nafis is putting the holder and the positive and an envelope to contain it inside the video light box. So this is what we saw in the light before. This is the negative being attached over the pod and the positive. Let's call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good enough. So now we got to get it in the envelope. Yes, that's the envelope right there. So we can process it outside. So this box. is an older Polaroid 8x10 envelope that we're reusing. We're going to experiment with cutting our own envelopes later on. And the whole time I'm afraid I'm going to pop the pod. Pod, yes. All right, now that it's inside the envelope, we're going to add a little bit of a skirt to, uh, to catch the developer as it comes through the sandwich. And oddly, this is black paper, but under the infrared camera, it's appearing quite light. That's good. That's a light CIA in a dump. And now we'll just tape it in place. The red and the black paper looks almost the same. I wonder why. So that black paper must have a lot of red pigments on it, huh? Or it's absorbing. Mm -hmm. 
You can see through the red tape, isn't that crazy? Okay, now the big test. Let's run it through the rollers again. Did you hear that? These sheet metal rollers actually have the ability to control the distance between them. And we actually set this to 22 thousandths of an inch. Well. Okay, the 90 seconds is up and we're getting ready to peel the picture. That is and there we go. Sweet. And it's with the old pods too. Oh. So these experiments will be continued.